USB. Please say a command. Bluetooth audio. No Bluetooth device is available right now. I will try to connect one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but my registration went out in June, which is when I left for Europe. And somehow I thought that some magic elves would change it for me when I was gone, but no magic elves did such work. I'm back and it's nearly September and I should probably really re-register before I get a huge ticket. So instead of vlogging right now, I should probably go do that. I was up until like 4 a.m. last night working. So I had a late start to today and then my internet went out in my apartment. Well, it kept going out, it was just really weird. So I'm at my parents to do my work. Cindy and I are about to head over to my family storage unit to pick up my box of shoes. I actually packed it up before I went to Europe and just realized that I haven't unpacked it and it's been like a week and I've been wearing like the same two pairs of shoes. I really need a pair of tennis shoes because I have to start running. I haven't worked out in a solid three months. Yeah. I mean, walking around with a 50 pound backpack across Europe might count a little bit as working out, but we ate a lot of bread. so. I should work on that. <laughs> I think I'm going to start running again. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Cindy. Hi, Madeline. How are you? I'm good. How are you, girl? Come on, get in. Where are we going? We're going to the storage unit. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, that's really exciting. I've always wanted to go to the storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> of the family storage unit. And I'm pretty sure it's all the stuff that came from my bedroom when I left for Europe. Sorry, family. What the heck, Madeline? <laughs> really? Well, we just unsuccessfully Looked for my box of tennis shoes. Well, my box of shoes that included a pair of tennis shoes. And now we're going to a different storage unit, mind you. <laughs> Maybe it is in the other one, I don't know. <laughs> How many storage units can a person have, honestly? Never enough. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Please be there. Today we are entering the wild. This right here, guys, is a danger level seven. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Thankfully, I'm well prepared and I studied, so I'm very knowledgeable about the things in this specific habitat that you can eat, that you can't eat, that you should touch, that you should not touch. We'll see how it goes. We have successfully come out of the wild without the tennis shoes. We did not find the tennis shoes. Maybe I will consider running in my boots. Just maybe. I just 
just want to point out that I have the best friends ever. Cindy, right before she left Panera after our work date, brought me a cup and told me to fill it up with coffee and a timer and said that when it went off, there was some broccoli cheddar waiting for me at the front because she knows that's my favorite soup. Yeah. I'm really blessed. <laughs> So today has already been tops. I've seen Cindy, I've had a great time, I got broccoli cheddar soup, but then a Panera girl came up and she handed me a plate and she was like, hey, I'm not allowed to sell broken cookies, so I'd like to give these to you. Yes, Panera lady. I'll eat your broken cookies, no problem. Good to see you too. Okay, nice to meet you, Danny. Good to see you. Bye. I wish I could say that the storage search for my tennis shoes went well, but that's not actually the case. I'm a target. I'm gonna buy new tennis shoes.